Hey guys, and happy Fun Finds Friday. So today I have a thrift a thrift haul for you, and it is one I went yesterday with a friend of mine, and we were gonna we we're supposed to go thrifting and go to a few different stores. We ended up staying at this one for quite some time, and then um, I had to get the car back home. So anyway. But we did do really, really well. And we went to the Bible's Permissions here in Indiana. And I always find good stuff there. I have volunteered there before. I love working. You know, I love volunteering there. I love what they stand for. And they always have such good stuff. They have furniture. They have clothes. They have, they have a craft section at my store. Kitchen stuff. Hardware. All kinds of stuff. Um, so, yeah. So, that's where I went. And I'm just going to show you. It's not a whole lot of stuff. But I did get some good stuff. And so I'm going to show you that and be done with it. Um, thank you so much for stopping by. If you're new, which most of you are because this is a new channel. Um, but if you're coming over here from my main channel, thank you for supporting me over here. Thank you for everything that you've done. Every view that you, you know, every video you viewed, every like, all of that. And if you're new all together, thank you so much for stopping by. I appreciate you. And guys, if you're not subscribed already, hit that subscribe button, hit the like button, hit the notification bell. And you know what? Down below, let me know what type of hauls you guys like. I don't have a community tab, so I can't ask you over here. And I did ask over on my main channel. Um, but just let me know what kind of hauls you like. I'm thinking of doing like, uh, like specific themed videos like I want to do a planner video and like everything that I find at Dollar Tree that's planner or journal uh, and then maybe you know if you want to do crafts I already did a craft haul but you know stuff like that just let me know down in the comments and that'll help me out a lot so the first thing that I'm going to show you is I got this huge huge bin it's one of those stackable ones and I actually got two of them they were a dollar each I'm just going to show you the one because the other one has all the stuff in it. So then I'm going to use this one to put all the stuff into. But I did get two of them. And, you know, stuff like this I find at thrift stores all the time. They don't cost a dollar. But this was a good deal. A dollar for the two of them. They did have another one. And it was three high. And it had wheels. It was six dollars. But it was green. And I considered getting that one instead. I just couldn't get past the color so I, I didn't get it but um so I just got these two white ones like I said I have one full of everything and then I'm going to just throw everything in that one so the first thing that I got was this it's like a wall uh, I don't know wall decal it's from Ikea and that's what it looks like you know all together and it's really big I mean it's a big so the stones I mean this is my hand so that's the, you know, one of the stones right there. So it's, you know, pretty big. It was a dollar. I got it for my daughter. She doesn't want it. I thought she'd like it, but our walls are kind of textured. So I think what I'm going to do is maybe put it into like a poster, like put it on a, um, like a foam board. Okay, so my windows are open because it's nice outside. So you're going to hear fireworks. I'm in Indiana. It's legal here. And so we get... Uh, we get a show just sitting in our backyard, so we don't even go to like fireworks shows or anything. So you may hear a lot of that in the background today. Um, so yeah, so I got that for a dollar. She didn't want it, but I think I'm going to put it on foam board and go from there. So then the next thing that I got was this, um, what is this? It's easy to apply, simple, simply peel and stick. It is like wallpaper I guess is it wallpaper or just yeah I think it's like wallpaper and it's like brick so, uh, there you go it's like all brick there and it was 75 cents I got that one and I got this one this is like a black and gray marble finish and it was also 75 cents and it is uh, two meters so I mean you get two meters I figured this would be good for projects. I can use them for all kinds of stuff. So I got those and they only had like one of each. So I just grabbed the ones that they had. Now I got these. These are, I'm going to open it. Ooh, it's a lot. Um, they're these wood rings. I think they're like curtain rings or something like that. I'm not really sure. 
but they do have like this little uh, eye eye hook on there. And what I, there, I mean, there's a whole bag of them, huge bag of them. And it was, I think I ended up paying $2 for it. It didn't have a price on it. So when I got to the front, usually they don't let you, um, you know, buy it if it doesn't have a price tag. But because I volunteered there and I knew the lady, she, sorry. <laughs> so she priced it for me. I have an idea of something that I want to do with this. And actually one of my viewers that's become a good friend of mine sent me a picture today using something exactly like this and I thought that was kind of ironic that I just purchased these yesterday and then she sends me the picture so I think I am going to be doing that project in an upcoming um, video here soon so yeah so I got this whole bag there are probably about 20 maybe there are probably about 30 of them in here so I'll be using those and I thought for two dollars wood rings can't go wrong the next thing that I got were these I know they're covers for uh, like the ends of, I don't know how to explain it, but they're these little metal pieces and I figured they'd be good to kind of finish projects off. I can also put them at the end of like dowel rods, kind of give them that industrial look. They were 50 cents, so I figured I can do something with them. I don't know what yet, thought they might be good for my minis videos also. So I have a few things in mind, but when I find stuff like this and it's only like 50 cents quarter, I grab it because I just never know. So I literally have bins full of stuff like this. So I always just grab stuff in the hardware section because I never know, you know, what I can use. So like I said, I went with a friend of mine and she actually found these. They're um, metal like corners for books and stuff. So they're just a bunch of them there are um 50 of them yeah there's 50 of them in each these are a little bit more like uh like that bronze polished color and then these are more black or like gray and they were 50 cents each and i thought that was a good deal i like i said i don't know what i'm gonna do with them i may not even use them as corners for my books or anything like that but you know those are always like I said, always good stuff to just kind of have. Okay, so I found these, and these things, I, I was so excited. So they were a dollar, and they're these little bags. They're like brown paper bags, and they have different vegetables on them. And if you guys don't know, I absolutely love minis. I'm going to actually open this so you can see what they look like. I love minis and I just made a little miniature greenhouse on my main channel. I will link that in the description box so you can go check that out if you haven't already. But this is going to go perfect with my little greenhouse. I, I was so excited. I could have left there with just this and been ecstatic. So that's what they look like. I don't know if you can see them. There we go. This one says sweet corn and it's just a little like brown paper bag and there's quite a few of them in here and there's corn and tomatoes and peas and I made little seed bags so I just thought this was perfect I might make like a little farmer's market I don't know what I'm gonna do with these but I couldn't pass them up for a dollar so I got that then I got this rickrack there's blue black white and pink now it was two dollars but there's four packs of them in here and each of them has four yards in it i use this during christmas time to make like my gingerbread men and stuff i love gingerbread so i usually you know decorate with gingerbread for christmas at least in one area of my house or another and i was running low on rickrack and i usually only use white but I may use the other ones for something else so I got that and Rick Rick is pretty expensive so that was a good deal then I got this little packet and it has like little fabric pockets and stuff for like scrapbooking and I'm gonna show you something else and then you'll kind of see it all kind of goes together so there's like you know all kinds of stuff in here little tags and these cute little fabric pockets and just all kinds of stuff and it was only a dollar so of course I grabbed it then I'm going to show you kind of what it's going to be for. I found this smash book. It was only two bucks. 
It's still, I mean, it's still in the plastic and everything brand new, not written in. And so I thought that was kind of cool. My daughter will love this thing. And I mean, it's brand new. So I figured some of this stuff would work well in here. And I mean, I have tons of, you know, scrapbook paper and other things like that that she can use. But I thought for $3, you know, you can decorate a whole little smash book there. And those smash books aren't cheap. I'm going to, I'll look it up to see like how much they are. Um, but they're, they're not that cheap. So that's why I got that. Now I got this whole, it's like some little stickers. It's the me and my big ideas, which is what, um, uh, happy planner. They're the same company, but I really just bought it for this. this it's not, it's not open. I bought it for this ribbon because it's little cameras and it's a small spool. It's only four feet, but I thought it was cute and it was only 50 cents. So I got stickers and a spool of black ribbon with the little white cameras. And I thought that was just really cute. So I got that one. Then I got these. These were 50 cents and I know they're filters for something. I don't know what, but I, when I saw them, I saw a window for my minis. I don't know what yet, but 50 cents. I was like, you know, I can do something, take the little filter part out of it and make windows for some kind of a house or something. So I got that. Then I got this, uh, it's a bobbin rack, I think, if I'm not mistaken. And um, it's, I mean, it's brand new. It has the tags on it and everything. Sorry, guys. Um, it was $2, so that was a little bit pricey, more than I usually pay. But I figured that I can take, like, this one out and this one out and then leave or something. They're right outside my window, literally. So... I figured I can like remove, I don't know, kind of mix it up so that I can maybe put ribbon on here or washi tape or something like that. I haven't quite decided. This may go on my desk with like my favorite washi tape on it if I can fit them on there. So we'll see. But I thought it was cute and it was brand new. I mean, it's $2, like I said, was a bit much, but I thought it I could use it. So that's why I grabbed it. All right, so again with my minis, guys, this was a dollar. So now I know it was probably some kind of tray for who knows what, but when I saw it, I saw a little bookshelf for my minis. That's what I saw. So I'm going to sand it down, paint it, kind of fix up the little, I mean, one of the shelves is kind of a little messed up there. It's all dinged up, but I'm like, for a dollar, I can fix it up and it's going to be perfect for... I have some little books. I can make some more little books, make little flower pots, put them in there, little vases. It's going to be so cute. So that's why I got that for a dollar. I was like, yes, um, that's mine. So then I got one yard of this cute little uh, gingerbread fabric. It was $2, which isn't too bad, I don't think. And they had green and red. And I think my friend that I went with got the red one I can't remember for sure but they had green and red and it was kind of the same design with a little bitty gingerbread but I thought this was adorable so I grabbed it don't know what I'm gonna make with it I don't sew but we'll see I can figure something out um then I got this it's not um jute twine it looks like it was used for something and they like wrapped it up when they were done with it but I can't remember what it's called. It's not jute cord. It has a different name. It was only 50 cents. I don't know how much is in here, but it's quite a bit. And I have an idea because I was going to make something and I was going to use jute twine and then it was too thin and then the rope was too thick. So this is perfect for what I'm making. So I was happy to find this. So for 50 cents, you know, why not? And if it doesn't work, I'm definite I can find you know another purpose for it and then I got these little um, cabin rings now you know I saw something that I can use for my minis it was a dollar a bit much but there's three packs of them so I don't think it's that bad of a deal um, you know because these things are usually like a dollar or two per bag anyway so I just got these, like I said, I can use them for my minis and there's always, you know, a use for something like this. So 
again, I just like having stuff like that in my stash. So then I got these um, these candlesticks. Now these are the ones from Hobby Lobby. The bag is open, but all five of the candlesticks are in there, and it was a dollar fifty. The regular price was five dollars. So even with the forty percent off coupon that doesn't exist anymore, <laughs> um, I still came out cheaper. And like I said, they're all. I'm just moving everything around. I'm sorry. Uh, <laughs> so all five of them are in there, and the, you know these are always a good good thing to have on hand then I got these um they're like tips for metal rods and stuff like that I saw an opportunity for some I can't get a good look in there uh for my minis you know 50 cents and I mean I can always put them at the end of rods as well but I saw um something for my minis I'm not sure what yet but something then I got this cute little, I know it's supposed to be like a toothpick holder. It says country pick and it's kind of like a cow print on there. But I thought it was cute. It was 75 cents and I figured I can paint it, make it look like a milk, a milk can or something. Put some handles on it, make a mini little milk can, find something that's like this. Ooh, let me see. I always have these little gumball machines. It might be too small. Yeah, it's too small. Maybe this way. I don't know. We'll see. I'll figure something out. Maybe put two of them together. Make a lid for it. And um, so, yeah. So, I'll paint it. Galvanize it. Maybe. Make something out of that. Make a mini, a mini something for like a tear tray or whatever. And then I found this cute little planter box. It was a dollar. And there was another one just like it that was two fifty, but it had little and it looks like this one had the stuff on it too. But the other one had like cute little decorations and stuff on it, but they were flowers and like a bumblebee and stuff like that. I was gonna take it off anyway, so I figured why not just get the one for a dollar. So I got that one. I'm probably gonna you can I can unscrew it. I can take this off, paint the whole box whatever color I want, and just put a cute little arrangement in there. I love this little window and I'll probably just leave it as is because it's cute so I got that for a dollar I mean these prices I can't leave this stuff so then this cute little storage container nothing you know spectacular it kind of looks like a treasure box that's what my friend said and I just thought it'd be cute you know I could put mini stuff in there I could put rubber bands push pins uh, thumbtacks anything like that and it was only a quarter so why not then I found these, they're calling them ribbon doilies. I don't know, but they're very fall colors. And I just thought they'd be good for some project here in the near future. Fall coming up, 50 cents. And it doesn't look like much of it is used. It is, is it even open? I don't even, it's not even open. So I got four. What does it say? I thought I saw where it said four feet. Or not. I don't know. Mm, it doesn't say how much is in here, but nonetheless, it's cute little ribbon, so I got that. And then I found this cute um, fleece fabric. It was a dollar, and this is how wide it is. Maybe about two feet, and it might be about a yard. I figured I could make a pillow for my son. He loves fleece. He loves that feel. So I think I'm going to make a pillow for him out of that. I don't sew, but I can make a straight line <laughs> or a line. It may not be straight. Um, then I got this magnet wristband thing. I know it's for like people who sew for the needles and stuff, but I thought it would just be good to kind of have. It's a very strong. I have like a metal. It, oh, wait. Yeah, I mean, it's it's a strong magnet, so I figure it would be good for just to have on hand and when I drop nails, which I do often. Happy 4th of July. Um, so I figured I would just grab that. Then I got these little b -b -b buckles. They're little bling buckles. Can you, there we go. They were a dollar for four of them. And, um, hold on. Okay. So, um, I thought they would just be cute. I could probably just pop that little 
metal, you know, the middle part off. Or, you know, my daughter likes bling, so maybe I'll just make like some bows or something and use these in that. And then they give, so when you go to the Bible's permission, they give you a Bible for free. Like if you go into the book section and you find a Bible, you get one Bible free when you go shop there. And um, so I always look in the Bible section because I like to have, you know, I just like to look at books. I love books. So I got this for my kids. I figured it's a one minute Bible for students uh, with 366 devotions for daily living. And it's the New Living Translation. And it's, um, so it just shows, you know, January and it gives you everything. So I figured I can either take a picture of it and send it to my kids every day so they can read it since I only have the one and there are six kids. Well, only five can read. So, <laughs> um, so yeah, so I figured I can do something like that. Or if I have to, I can make copies of it or something like that. So I thought this was good. I usually, you know, I was doing a scripture a day with them. So Every day I would send a script, scripture and they would have to tell me what it meant to them and kind of how they can, you know, use it or in their daily life. So, um, so yeah, so I got that and figured this might be a little bit of an easier way to do something like that. Then my youngest daughter here at home is into gymnastics. So they had a bunch of little leotards and stuff. So I just got her, this is kind of weird, but... <laughs> So they had these cute little leotards and I actually found the little set here. So I got her that and then I have the other bin that's empty now. And that's all I got guys. So thank you so much for watching. Um, I hope you guys have an amazing blessed weekend. Be safe out there. Um, and I'm hoping to have, so my next Mm, my next haul will probably be a smaller Dollar Tree haul. I haven't really been shopping at Dollar Tree too much in the last week or so. So I do have a few things that I have purchased. and um, But I have a bunch of thrift store stuff. So I'll probably have a few thrift store hauls coming. And a, you know, maybe a Dollar Tree one here and there. And I'm also going to be doing like an, a collective planner haul. But I'm going to shop my craft room because I want to show you the type of stuff that you can get from Dollar Tree to get yourself started if you want to do happy planner and stuff like that and then I'm going to think of other stuff to do too but guys that is it for today I hope you guys have an amazing evening or the rest of the night and a blessed weekend and until next time be blessed and be the reason someone smiles bye guys